NPF is not pulling out, just wants to improve coalition, says government spokesperson T.S. Radesham. If BJP-led government collapses by itself, Congress ready to form government, says MPCC President Guy Kangam. And state government all set to launch special project to conserve forest. Welcome to ISTV English News. Now the news in detail. Spokesperson and Education Minister T.S. Rajasham asserted that NPF is not pulling out. It is just their expressions to improve the coalition government. He said, review meeting of NPF will be held on May 18 to discuss on good governance of BJP-led government. As such, there is no question of NPF pulling out since they are supporting the government. However, it is believed that efforts will be met to bring solutions soon for any grievance. He said, people will come to know of the actual picture after the election result is declared on May 23rd. They have expressed some concerns that how to have a better coalition in a government. There may be some communication gap. They have never said they are going to pull out. They said they may have a meeting on 18th of this month and they may review, reconsider how better form coalition government we may have. That is for, you know, better performance, better governance. MPCC President Guy Kangam asserted that if BJP-led government collapses by itself, Congress is ready to form government. Speaking to media persons at Congress Bhavan, he said, Congress has no understandings between NPP and NPF for their claims that they no longer want to stay with the BJP-led government. Since Congress has no objection for the coalition or has pushed out Ellis, it will not let a state become a state without governance if BJP-led government collapses by itself. Even though it is too early to comment on whether to accept the MLAs who had defected to BJP again or not, the rumour that some BJP MLAs would be joining Congress is false. Just as there is no one who would jump into a sinking boat, there is no Congress MLA who would like to support a collapsing government, he added. Congress party being responsible, as per information received by ISTV News, state government is all set to launch special project to conserve forest in the state. A campaign will be launched to protect from the impact of storms, heavy rains, floods and heat in the state in the past few years following the ever-increasing global warming and effects of climatic change. As part of the campaign, 5 to 10 areas, acres of land areas in villages will be turned into forests. The lands may be unused land or donated by people of the villages. Steps for conservation of forests will be taken up at the areas in association with villagers. On the other hand, an open gym will be set up at a forest conservation area to create healthy lifestyle among villagers. Gym equipment will be provided by government free of cost. The reports added that authorities concerned have initiated investigation to evict illegal dwellers in forest areas of Langol. Necessary measures will be taken up soon. Meanwhile, top officers have instructed authorities concerned to look into the matter following ISTV News report on leveling of hills without acquiring forest clearance in some areas of Kakching. Governor Dr. Nazma Haptula stated that healthcare practitioners need to render better healthcare facilities to people. Governor was speaking at the International Nurses Week celebration 2019 held at Dreams Jubilee Hall, jointly organized by Trained Nurses Association of India and Students Nurses Association of India Manipur State Brands under the theme A Voice to Lead Health for All. 
Principal Secretary of Health and Family Welfare V. Wumrumang, Director of Health Services Dr. K. Rajo and Head Doctor of Department of Radiotherapy Reams, Professor L. Joychan attended the program. Gifts were presented to dedicated nurses and L. Ibohal Singh was honored with Lifetime Achievement Award during the celebration. Governor Dr. Nazma Haptula further said, state government needed to provide better facilities in order to bring overall development for nurses working in primary health sectors. Nurses also need to render additional services and acquire additional training to strengthen the nursing profession, she added. There are thousands of nurses currently practicing in this country and you are a massive resource which the government intends to safeguard and strengthen. Nurses are also reaching new levels of competency as the demand for more complex nursing care increases. There is now an impressive quantum of highly skilled nurses practicing in our country. Education Minister T.S. Radhisham has appealed to student bodies not to make any statements that will shatter the expectations of students of the future generation. Speaking to media persons at his office chamber at Secretariat in the presence of top officials of education department, he further said, changes have been brought in education sector in the past two years. This arm statement regarding go-to-school mission should be ruled out. School Fagadhansi mission has just been started. The mission launched at Gumnam Hudrom is a pilot project of the government to improve electricity, library, fill up vacant posts of teachers, install adequate furniture in the classrooms and construct toilet and buildings in selected schools in 60 constituencies each. Cabinet has approved to recruit teachers for pre-primary level schools before enforcement of election code of conduct. He said, past percentage of government school students has been increasing in the past two years. He appealed to all not to express statements that will shatter hopes of students at this juncture. He appealed to those concerned to come up to Education Department for any suggestions or wrongdoings in an effort to bring improvement in education system. Chummi mayam na uru bata oza wat pa school ki building wala masi mayam ni school leasing ani hena labor na koi loi na same thing hamdi last two years da koi school phane am same jan jare ari classroom kan phane am sare hanak so laboratory ki room phane am sare equipment labor ho re residential school purely satra som som like to mafam tareta acho wa lupa crore kun kun ni maya ra ta wa school mafam tareta koi cha ba ho re chumme satra ki sansthan sing lai lai tonga tonga ma kya na koi phagat aning ba ki ชาลัชลัยเยงวรกันนะมาเปียนเนบตัวไฮรักปะเนี่ยดูอะคุยนะอปิลตอกซินิงบะดีฮาวดีบาทะบามาตอกเงนะคะเลยงิมะรักเซ
veterinary ki minister na direct oi nak thing na masi inquiry to hun jani ngi Cattle owner Sarachandra Maite of Hautak Tamfa Kuno and member of Borayangbi Gram Panchayat Ward Number 4, Muhammad Abdul Salam said, the death of cattle in the areas of Hautak is true. Jiri Tipaimug Road has been found cracking before completion of improvement work. Water has been found locked at different areas on the road. Moirangtem Promen Maite of Dibong said, quality of road repairing work has not been maintained and water is found accumulated at different places in the middle of the newly repaired roads. He has appealed to officials concerned of concerned department to conduct routine inspection. <laughs> Now it's time for a short break. The All New Swift, driven by technology, smart play infotainment system, AGS push start stop button, automatic climate control, smart heat, steering mounted audio control, powered to the core, patrol MT by AMT 22 km per liter, diesel MT by AMT 28.4 km per liter, safety leveled up, solid hearted platform, front dual airbags, ABS with EBD, fixed with child seat restaurant system, reverse parking sensors with camera. Welcome back after the break. The 18th Foundation Day of Ethno Heritage Council Hericon was held at GM Hall today. Managing Director of HBS Construction Huidrom Vikramjit, President of Hericon Longjam Ratan Kumar and President of Amju Bijoy Kachintabam attended the program. President Longjam Ratan Kumar said Hericon has been taking up responsibilities in various issues of the state till date. The organization has set its aim to improve economic conditions in hill and valley in the upcoming years. Kana na yellow me no, kana na yellow me na tabano, I was a koi, lay riba, manipuda lay riba koi kuning mana mayak saying, the kangin nabogaloinana, yellow me singi, saktam nat amadi, manipur yapun basaktam kan bada, a koi lay riba kuning maki, togdang lo pum toi, I will wapam say, tamzeni. A quiz competition on the theme Kangmin Nasi Iramdam was held to provide facts of history of Manipur as part of the program. Three-day awareness program kicked off at Moray Police IB to facilitate people in obtaining IND number and driving license. The program was organized by Technopal Police and Thaubal District Transport Officer SP Technopal TS Bikramzit, Thaubal District Transport Officer Thapa Maring, additional SP of Moray K H Robinson. Police officers and public leaders of Moray attended the program. Transport officer Thapa Maring said, The step has been taken up to lessen the inconveniences faced by people of Moray in obtaining driving license and IND number from Imphal. Dinjit Mangang, 13 position holder in science stream and other outcoming students of SDJM Higher Secondary School, Ghari Awanglekai in the Higher Secondary Examination 2019 were felicitated in a function held at the school complex today. President of SDJM Higher Secondary School and Tomba, Secretary of All Manipur Recognized Private School Welfare Association C.H. Chamchan and General Secretary of Ghari Youth Club P.H. Prema Mangang were among others present on the occasion. Class 10 results conducted by Board of Secondary Education Manipur will be declared on Saturday, May 18th evening. Results will be available at www.manresultsnic.in, www.bosem.in, www.manipureducation.gov.in and www.manipur.gov. Father Sonny of Catholic School Kanchipur has strongly refuted the allegations made upon him by KCPMC. Speaking to media persons, Father Sonny appealed to all to conduct proper investigation on his character that has been assassinated by the outfit. He said he will accept if he is found guilty in the investigation. He is trying to instigate and also to malign a person and also malign their organization through this kind of misinformations. Then please we need to scan them through, identify those persons. And I am also appealing to the public, to the government, and also all the social organizations to bring justice and fairness 
to the academic institutions in our state of Manipur. And I am open for any form of inquiry and investigation. If they found me that I have committed any mistake, I am ready to bear any punishment that the society would give. Reams Executive Council meeting of was held at Nirban Bhavan, New Delhi as approved increase in seat capacity of MBB, MBBS and PZ for economically weaker sections. The meeting was presided by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Secretary Priti Sudan. Executive me meeting has also approved opening of MSc nursing course, DM in nephrology and star of sports medicine in dreams. It has also decided strengthening of super specialty doctors as well as starting of paramedical courses like BSc, MLT, X-ray, CT scan and ECG. Secretary of Notice Council Ram Weva, Director General of Health Services, Government of India, Additional Secretary of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India, Joint Secretary, Director of REAMS, A. Shanta, among others, among other officials attended the executive meeting. Dr. Indira Maisnam, Senior Consultant Endocrinology, has been conferred the Fellow of American College Endocrinology. Dr. Indira Maisnam, who is currently a Senior Consultant Endocrinologist based in Kolkata, is daughter of Professor Maisnam Iboton and Elangbam Banabati of Kwakitel Thokchomlekai. The award has been honored by American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists and American College of Endocrinology in their annual conference to a select group of endocrinologists in USA and worldwide who have excelled in the field of endocrinology in varied ways. Five-day training program for ASHAs on home-based care for young child is being held in series-wise at various places including Lengangching village, Kapam village, DRDA hall and DPMU hall of Chandal under Chandal block from May 14th. The set training program will be conducted in batch-wise at Sugnu, Topopi, Novokong Community Health Center, Chakpikarong, Saibol Jaupi and Kengzoi till May 18th. Now the headlines once again. NPF is not pulling out, just wants to improve coalition, says government spokesperson T.S. Radisha. If BJP-led government collapses by itself, Congress ready to form government, says MPCC President Guy Thangam. And state government all set to launch special project to conserve forest.